For this next video, I just wanted to talk really briefly about some of these ES6 features that might be available or might not be available based on the environment you're in. Um, so for a lot of these examples, we're going to be running them in Node. Uh, and if you go to nodejs.org slash docs slash ES6, you can get a list of basically what is currently turned on in stable. So we can see most of the things like let and const and classes, maps, all those things are on. Uh, but some things that we're going to be wanting, like for the next video, we'll do destructuring, and that's not turned on by default. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that. In order to get these, you need to have an up-to-date version of Node. So you can go to your terminal and type node dash dash version. Uh, I'm running 5.0. You should make sure that you're somewhere in the 4 or 5 range. Uh, if you're not, you can go over to uh, this GitHub repo, github.com slash creationix slash nvm. Uh, and you can download this really nice bash script. It's super easy. You just run this one line to install it. And after that, you can NVM install any version that you want. So I'd get the latest stable version. Uh, if you're running this stuff on the front end, you can use something like Babel. Uh, this is at babeljs.io. It's a JavaScript to JavaScript transpiler for those that aren't familiar with it. So basically, it can take your fancy ES6 code and it'll turn it into uh, you know, ES5 code that all browsers will support. So you still get to write all the cool stuff and it works on all browsers. Um, so yeah, if you're writing it on the front end, you want something like Babel. Otherwise, let's get Node up to date. And then the very last thing that I wanted to talk to about was that once you have Node up to date, you can run this command here, uh, node dash dash v8 dash options. And then you can grep for Harmony, which is another name for the ES6 version. Uh, and so you can see all these specialty flags um, and we're going to be using these basically, like you can see, destructuring, um, you know, as a specialty flag. So when we do our destructuring exercise, instead of running node index.js, we're going to run something like node dash dash harmony uh, de underscore destructuring index.js. Uh, so just some stuff to keep in mind as everybody, node and the browsers, keep adding support. Uh, in the meantime, we'll want to, uh, you know, run these special commands or pass it through something like Babel. Thanks.